Welcome back to Late Night Man. Now, over the last few weeks, we've seen violent anti-vax protests erupt across London, including attacking some flats where the BBC used to be based, as well as the emergence of a huge medical freedom movement in America, which is actually discouraging people from getting the vaccine. Also, in rural Oklahoma, people have been taking horse dewormer to treat COVID rather than taking the vaccine that actual doctors are recommending. So, we're bringing in two maverick freethinkers, alumni from the Dominic Cummings Institute of Weirdos and Misfits, to help solve <laughs> one of the world's most pressing issues, the one that's most... Can I just stop you there, Nish? Thank God. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Even Marshall Minute is on the telly, isn't it? He's <laughs> absolutely piercing that, isn't he? Seven hours on a megabus for this. <laughs> uh, my name is Christopher Louise, BA Honours. <laughs> Me, MDMA. <laughs> and together, we're the fact adjacent internet scientists who have been responsible for such big ideas as skate parks in hospitals, <laughs> hourly black bin collections for veterans, <laughs> crooks for cooks for kids, getting some of the UK's most violent offenders to retrain as dinner ladies in primary schools. <laughs> And, of course, eat out to help out. Lonely widows. <laughs> <laughs> but tonight we're here to talk to you about... Vaccine! He <laughs> Hesitancy. <laughs> now, you're about to hear the voice of just one concerned mum. I'm not having it done. I'm a Pisces. <laughs> you see, it turns out some people just do not want a shot of barely regulated European chemicals in their bodies. <laughs> but like country music and incest porn, vaccine hesitancy <laughs> has spread from the US and is now infecting the UK. the highest they've been in five months. It really highlights the fact that vaccines don't work unless everybody takes them. Exactly. It's vaccination, not vaxi everybody apart from your Uncle Tenny. <laughs> so we took to social media to ask what they thought. Starmerfan79 says... <laughs> <laughs> the first one made my dick stink. Cheese emoji, horny emoji. <laughs> And that looks like a hard cheese to me, a sure. gorgonzola. <laughs> OK. <laughs> At Dr Truth adds, if the president orders me to wear a mask, I'll shoot my fucking pedigree dog. <laughs> and can you imagine what a hollow point would do to a chihuahua? <laughs> wow. It would fucking mince it. <laughs> wow! <laughs> And at Concerned Pam screams, No thanks, my husband had the Moderna and two days later he got an STI and a love bite. Explain that! We can't. We can't. We can't! <laughs> and finally, at Cousin Lover thinks, Nish Kumar looks like he comes in the bath and just sits in it. <laughs> <laughs> Debate me. <laughs> You, um, you have the, the, the right to reply, my lord. <laughs> In my defence, <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow's Goop website said it was a skincare tip. <laughs> Chris, isn't that your Twitter handle? No. Well, not my main one. <laughs> so we've seen lots of opinions, and as Yorkshire's leading futurologists, it's our job to think outside our little wet boxes and find solutions. <laughs> and we realise that if we want to solve a problem like vaccine hesitancy, then we need to communicate on their level. Yeah, and as I learned in prison... <laughs> ..if you want to convince a madhead, you've got to out-cray the cray-cray. <laughs> and learn how to braid pubic hair. <laughs> now, we've already heard from a concerned mum who doesn't want the vaccine. Well, let's flip that on its head. What do concerned mums want? They want pudding-fingered libertine Paul Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> from that there baker. <laughs> and they want him to administer the vaccinations to concerned mums himself. Yeah. In a cubicle, that's not monitored, so... Anything could happen. <laughs> and, guys, we know he isn't fearful. <laughs> it's been said...
said that vaccine passports are a disgusting infringement on human rights. So we're going to make them redundant by way of a mandatory top knot for anyone who isn't vaccinated. <laughs> it's a perfect solution, Nish, because we're going to know who they are and we all ignore them anyway because they've got a top knot. <laughs> Can I just say, just to clarify, we are excluding the Sikh community from this scheme, right? <laughs> Oh, yeah, um... <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that's in the, uh, in the small print. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> uh, well, I hope we've shown you that you should always listen to experts. Some of the best minds in the world have been working tirelessly to help free us from this pandemic, and I'd rather listen to them than your uncle Tenny, who I once saw shit in a pint glass in a job interview. <laughs> And doing your own research is absolutely encouraged. Just make sure it's from trustworthy sites such as illuminati.blogspot.biz <laughs> or NHS Online. <laughs> they have all the up-to-date, clinically verified information to help debunk some of the commonly held concerns people have about vaccinations. About like what? Well, do you know people are worried about blood clots? Yeah. Yeah, well, it turns out the minuscule risk is way lower than taking other common medications like the contraceptive pill. Oh, yeah, but, Amy, this is serious. This is affecting men. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Amy and Chris! <laughs>